What's going on guys? Welcome back to Wildcat Cave. It is officially win or go home, put up or shut up time in college basketball. The SEC tournament kicks off tomorrow night and after a massive win at Tennessee, Kentucky has locked up a two seed and the double bye down in Nashville. For the first time in a long time, the Cats seem to be healthy and playing their best ball going into postseason play. Today we're going to talk a little about that ass kicking we hand to Tennessee and then I'll give my predictions for the SEC tournament. First things first guys, if you aren't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that for me right now. Just click the button below and follow along for all of March Madness, and then make sure you head over to X and follow me on there too, at Wildcat Cave BBN. Also, Selection Sunday is this coming Sunday, which means it is bracket challenge time. I've already created a group over on the ESPN Tournament Challenge app, and some of you guys have already joined. The group name is simply Wildcat Cave. I posted the link on my community page here on the channel if you want to find it a little easier. It's completely free to join and the winner will receive a prize and there's a limit of two brackets per person. So after you subscribe to the channel, finish this video and then follow me on Twitter, head over to the community tab here on the channel and join the bracket challenge. That way when the brackets are announced on Sunday night, you'll be ready to make your picks. Let's real quick here talk about that Tennessee game. Number one, it was a massive game in terms of just seeding for not only the SEC tournament, but the NCAA tournament for both teams. Um, for number one, it kept Kentucky could have been anywhere from a two seed to a five seed down in Nashville. And the teams that we needed help from to lock up that double bye all gave us no help. All the teams we needed to lose won. So it really did come down to can Kentucky beat Tennessee? And they did, and they did it in kind of crazy dominating fashion. It was almost like the game at Rupp, but reverse. Kentucky led basically from start to finish, and Tennessee never really had a chance to get in it. Every time they would come down the floor and cut the lead to within five, Reed Shepard or Antonio Reeves would you know, hit a three or make a big play and ultimately stop any momentum Tennessee ever had. And speaking of those two dudes, how amazing are Antonio and Reed? Both went for 27 points, both had seven rebounds, and it really was like the epitome of what this team is at the core. It's those two dudes and, and then some pieces around that are going to decide how far we go in March. None of our bigs contributed kind of really anything. Ugo had a couple blocks. Z didn't play super well. And Bradshaw only played two minutes. Uh, on top of that, Adu and Trey gave you zero points. So all of our scoring came from our guards um, and Justin Edwards, who again had 16 points and played really well himself. Now back to seeding, like I said, Kentucky going into the game got no help from anybody and could have been anywhere from a 2 to a 5 seed um, if from being the 2 seed uh, in the SEC to playing on Thursday as the 5. The way it worked out, Kentucky won the game and got themselves to double by in the 2 seed overall, which we'll talk about here in a second. Um, but a massive game for SEC seeding. And then kind of on the bigger picture, in my opinion, I think it locked up a three seed floor for Kentucky, assuming they don't flame out in the SEC tournament this weekend. I think as long as they can win a game or two in the SEC tournament, then I think three is the absolute lowest they can go. I think we might have played our way out of the four seed. And depending on how some other teams go, have an outside chance at a two seed. I do think a two seed is unlikely. I think three were pretty solidly in the three seed line. Um, but I think now we kind of control our own destiny. It keeps us from playing out west in the NCAA tournament. We're also 4-0 against top 10 teams in the net, uh, which is something that I don't know that any other team in the country can say, to be honest with you. I don't think there's any other team with four wins against top 10, and definitely not uh, any team that has four wins and zero losses. So this team just plays better on the road. They play better against big competition. This team, whether it's them being young and just not, you know, recognizing how big these moments are or just being the dogs that don't care, um, they play their best against the best competition. And as you can see from 4-0, they always win these games. We play better away from home for some reason, whether that be neutral court or on the true road environments. Think about our best three wins are probably at Tennessee, at Auburn, and UNC in a neutral court. And guess what? 
there are no home NCAA games. So from here on out, you're going to be at a neutral site. You're going to be on the road. And that is where this team plays the best. And that should give you some optimism going into uh, March Madness. And then, of course, as far as seeding goes, Tennessee might still have a chance at the one seed line. But this, if they don't get it, it'll be because of that game where Kentucky went to Knoxville and beat them on their home court. Like I said, um, Arizona lost two, so they still have a chance at that one seed. But if they don't get it, it's because Kentucky beat them. And then it's just always good to beat Tennessee. They always like to stick their chest out and tell us how they're the elite SEC program in both sports. They're this and they're that. And then even in years we're not good, we go down there and we kick their ass in Knoxville. We've won four out of the last five times down there, even when our teams have not been Kentucky good. All right, guys, now we're going to talk a little bit about the SEC tournament. I will put the bracket on the screen here for you guys. And just so you guys know, I am going to the SEC tournament. I've got my hotel. I've got my tickets. So let me know down in the comments if you are also going to go. And if you happen to see me out, just say hi. I'd love to meet some of you guys that are going down there. I expect it to be a really fun time and a huge turnout. They're saying this could be the biggest Kentucky crowd in five or six years. So I'm really excited to go. This is going to be my first time going for the SEC tournament. So again, let me know down in the comments if you're going. Um, I believe Tin Roof is kind of the place where Kentucky fans meet up in Nashville. So I'm definitely going to be around there. And then I'm going to the game on Friday night. I hope to see you guys there. I'm going to make a lot of content, maybe some shorts, some TikToks, um, just kind of everything. And then I would like to put a vlog together next week um, with kind of a culmination of all of the, all of the content that uh, gets captured down there. Maybe do some interviews. Um, with just, you know, kind of man on the street type stuff. So let me know if that's something you want to see as well. Now looking into the bracket. The first game that's going to be played tomorrow night is number 13 seed Vanderbilt against number 12 Arkansas. Um, we're just going to go through these games top to bottom, left to right, and kind of give you what I think is going to happen. I think both of these teams are bad. I think Arkansas just has more talent. I think Arkansas wins that game. And then you have uh, the battle of... Missouri and Georgia, the game everybody's, of course, waiting for a uh, winless in-conference Missouri against a really bad Georgia team. I think Georgia wins. I think Missouri finishes 0-19 in the conference. Uh, and then that great coach, Dennis Gates, that everybody talked about um, ultim ultimately shows his true colors. And then that brings you to Thursday. The first game on Thursday is Mississippi State and LSU. Um, I think this is actually going to be a really good matchup. I think both teams are kind of designed the same, pretty physical teams. Um, both have stars. I think Tolu Smith kind of takes over the game. They play a hard-nosed style defense, and Chris Jans moves on to the Friday slate. Then you have Arkansas, who just beat Vanderbilt the night before, go on to play South Carolina. South Carolina really was the big loser in all of this because before Kentucky beat Tennessee, they were slated as the two seed. Kentucky wins, and they fall all the way to five and now have to play on Thursday. I think that's going to give them some motivation. They're already a good team. Lamont Parrish just won SEC Coach of the Year. Um, so I think South Carolina rolls Arkansas. Then you have the game that matters to us Kentucky fans. Old Miss, Texas A&M, they just played last week. Texas A&M rolled them pretty good. It wasn't really very close. I think that happens again, and Texas A&M moves on to play Kentucky on Friday. And then you have uh, what would be Georgia against Florida. Florida's been playing really well here recently, even though they did just lose on a buzzer beater to Vanderbilt. I think Florida takes care of Georgia fairly easily. Walter Clayton Jr. is really good. Uh, they have nice complimentary pieces. They finished the season really well, minus the last game. Florida moves on to take on Alabama. And then you have a huge day of basketball on Friday which is the day I will be getting down there. Um, and then you would have Mississippi State versus Tennessee. I do think Mississippi State can beat Tennessee, but I think it being in the state of Tennessee in Nashville, um, Mississippi State had just played the night before. I think Tennessee wins. And then you have South Carolina and Auburn. Again, I think this is going to be a rock fight. This is one of those games that's 50-50. I don't feel confident either way. I'm going to lean... Auburn, um, just because they got Janai Broom, their guards, when they're hitting, can play really well. But don't be surprised if South Carolina pulls this out. I've seen a lot of people picking Auburn to win the whole thing. Um, I don't know that that's going to happen, but I do think they can beat South Carolina. But then again, 
South Carolina is not afraid to get physical and slow the game down. But I think star power in, wins in the end, and Auburn moves on. And then you have Kentucky and Texas A&M. Obviously, A&M had beat Kentucky earlier in the season um, down at A&M. I think Kentucky is much better now. We're fully healthy. We're playing our best ball right now. It's going to be a revenge game for us. We're going to be more rested. I think Kentucky comes out and wins. Maybe not by 20, but I think take care of uh, Texas A&M without too much trouble. And then the night game on Friday is going to be Florida and Alabama. This game is really interesting. Um, they split the series. Um, a very, very close game in Alabama. Florida almost stole it. And then uh, when Alabama came to Florida a week or so ago, Florida steamrolled Alabama. I think Alabama is going to be motiv motivated for this game. Again, Florida is just coming off a game the night before. But don't be shocked whatsoever if Florida uh, beats Alabama and ends up playing us on Saturday. I, I have a hard time picking that because Alabama does just have so much firepower. And what are the odds you catch them on an off-shooting night twice in a row? But it is possible. Florida's not a bad team. I'm going to pick Alabama, but I, I, like I said, I don't feel confident about that one. And then that brings us to the semifinals, which would be Tennessee and Auburn, Kentucky and Alabama, which is basically chalk. I haven't really picked many upsets here. Um, that's going to be your top four seeds going into the semifinals. Um, I do think there's a chance Tennessee slips up. Like I said, a lot of people have it this way so far and then have Auburn upsetting Tennessee. It's hard for me to pick that. I think Tennessee's kind of mad that they lost uh, to Kentucky. And I see Tennessee beating Auburn. But, again, I, I've said this a bunch, and this is like the, the easy way out. But I do think there's a chance Tennessee, or Auburn, I'm sorry, wins this game. But I'm going to pick Tennessee to the championship. I just think they're a better overall team. Dalton Connect is awesome. He's a really, really good player. Um, I hate Tennessee. I hope they lose their first game. But ultimately, I think they make it to Sunday. And then you have Kentucky, Alabama. Um, Kentucky beat them by 22 points in Rupp earlier this season. Alabama plays a really similar style to Kentucky. I just don't think they have the players Kentucky does. Again, I think, uh, you know, this is a matchup that favors Kentucky. I said it in the video after the Alabama game. Nobody does what Kentucky does as well as we do. Alabama has zero defense. They're going to try to run and score with us, and I just don't think they're going to be able to keep up, which gives you a Kentucky-Tennessee final. Um, ultimately, Aside from winning the SEC tournament, obviously, this game has not really many implications. The selection committee has shown that these Sunday championship games don't matter um, it, when it comes to seeding. So from here on out, uh, on Sunday, if it's Kentucky, Tennessee, it's really just about pride. Um, who wants it more? I think Kentucky is going to want it more. They're a young team full of dogs. I think their scoring is much better. It's going to be a big Kentucky contingent in the crowd. Um, obviously, in Tennessee, there's going to be a bunch of Tennessee fans there as well. But Tennessee's already locked up the regular season. They're going to want their revenge, no doubt. Um, but I'm going to pick Kentucky to win the championship, the SEC tournament, and then really get some momentum built up heading into March. That is going to wrap up this video, guys. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you go subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the SEC tournament content or future March Madness videos. Also, go enter the bracket challenge and give yourself a chance to win a prize. Let me know down in the comments your thoughts on the SEC tournament and if you're going or not. Next time I see you guys, we will have a bracket to discuss. I'll see you all then. Go Cats!